How you doing guys? Welcome back, Stevie here. Uh, it's been a few weeks, I was away at work for three weeks, the, the competition down at Rutland, so I've been doing at Rutland for five days there. And that was pretty good. Uh, so today I'm going to be tying one of the flies I've done quite well with in practice, which is a Nemo uh, booby, which is a cruncher pattern, just with a booby. So, in the vise I've got the Fario wet fly hook size 10, barbless, that's the bronze one. The thread I'll be using is Black Uni and 8 -0. So I've already waxed the thread, so I'll just run a bed of thread down the hook. Just take it to where the barb would normally be on a barb hook. Stop there and cut off the waist. And for the tail, I've got this green moose cape, hen cape. So I just wanted a larger feathers for the bottom of the cape. Just pull the fibres out 90 degrees and pull. And I'd say the tail length probably just shorter than the body. Just tie that down. And on the way back down we'll tie in the rib which is silver wire. This is just a fine silver. Just take this about halfway down then we'll tie in some medium red holographic same again just keep a bit of the length of the body when you're tying it in oops so just put that out of the way and for the body we're using just the usual cock pheasant tail so just take about 5 or 6 fibres tie them in tip first oops, let's burrow down just tie these in tip first and tie everything down and come back, you need to leave room for the booby eyes so we're going to go under the hook with the pheasant tail just tie that off and cut off the waist just come back and bring the rib over the hook with the red hollow just nice even turns and tie that in cut off the waist that marabus on the table and bring the silver wire up from under the hook just tying everything down And just helicopter it off. And for the forex, we're using natural pheasant tail. Eh, uh, sorry, peacock. So two strands of peacock kettle. What I usually do: one tip up, one butt up. Just tie this in and oops, one's broke off there. So just go back, go back in again. Just take a wee bit more off it. And go again. Here we go. Two or three, four turns. Should do it there. Tie it off. Trim off the waist. So I fished this in Rutland the, the last week. 
uh, a couple of the practice days that done pretty well uh, on the floating line. So I'll just take a hackle for a size 10, just off the green most cute. These are just Indian hens, they're just 8 quid or something. So Cut off the tip. And just tie some of that back. Get your hackle pliers. And pulling everything back. Just drawing the hackle fibres back. Maybe two, two and a half turns. Should do that. Bring it up. Cross over. And cut off the waste. And the booby eyes is black. This is a 5mm tube. So I'll just get the older scissors for this. Cut that in half. And just tie that in. I should do that there and what finish just hold the eyes back so that's the fly done just need to trim trim the eyes so I need to take this off the hook guys both the dice, sorry. Try and get it in the camera, just turning it around. Same on the other side. That's it. So stick this back in the vise. And varnish it. Just turn the vise upside down. Just got some hard as nails here. And just a wee dub of, just dub it in. It's a wee dab. So that's it guys, that's the Nemo Cruncher booby, which I uh, had some success at Rockland with last week. I think it'd be a good pattern for snail feeders as well, just with the, the black, black eyes there. So I'll fish that in the floor, you can fish it in any line you want. So I hope you enjoyed that one, and if you've not already subscribed, please find me doing it. Uh, all high ups, cheers, thanks, and I'll catch you again.